Hi, I'm Willie and welcome back to my channel. First, I want to apologize because this is not a VPN video. I promised the VPN videos are coming, but I was going to do the ASA video and I can't find my USB to serial adapter and I kind of need that uh, for the ASA. So uh, the VPN videos may come out of band. I've got so much cool stuff that I want to show you, so much encrypting everything that I want to show you in every aspect of networking and computing that I may have to release out of band videos to do that. So, but that's all about time. But thank you for being here. Um, one more quick thing is uh, my uh, APAC Pro showed up. So that APAC Pro versus HD versus AC Lite video is coming soon. So let's get down to the meat and potatoes of this video, which is creating a trunk between a Unify switch and an Edge switch. If you've watched some of the other videos, you know that a trunk is just a connection between switches that allows tagged VLAN traffic to flow right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna configure uh, some networks in our unify controller and we are gonna con you know we will give them VLAN tags now you can create a network and not give it a VLAN tag um, and actually we may just do that but we're gonna create those and then we're gonna hop over to the edge switch now at this point there is no mechanism to create the same VLAN simultaneously you know like if you're used to uh, Cisco you know they've got a protocol that allows VLAN creation uh, across all switches in in the in the domain I'm not gonna get into that technology I'm not even gonna give you the three uh, letter acronym at this point because it is Cisco and this is about ubiquity um, but more to come on that when we get to some of the Cisco switching videos so the first thing um, that we're gonna look at is we're gonna hop over here in our main lab switch is that switch 8 PoE 150 and this switch if we pull it up it has an SFP connection to our edge switch 24 light and um, if we hover over I pointed that was cute I pointed at the screen like you could see what I'm pointing at but my mouse is actually on it um, so if you if we hover over port 10 we see that it's SFP2 it's connected at a gigabit and that the SFP is that's an actual ubiquity SFP that's installed there so I recommend ubiquity SFPs uh, my affiliate links are below for all of the ubiquity gear so you can uh, support the channel by using those links and buying your unify gear uh, so what we've got is we've got the sfp connection between the unify switch 8 and the edge switch 24 light now obviously that's ubnt ubnt do not use that in a production network I don't want to be talking about you in my security Saturday <laughs> vlog. That's not the point. Please make sure you know we're on point. I've got some videos that show you how to securely set these switches up, uh, which will be getting revisited. So we're logged in, and you can see that here we are connected, and we have that same SFP that matches. So we are connected SFP to SFP. So we'll hop back over to this side and we're gonna go to settings and networks now this is obviously the unify side and you can see that we've got a couple things here set up but what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a network and we're gonna call this video it will be a VLAN only um, in unify when you create a VLAN only then it does not create that layer 3 interface on the USG some other device is going to have to do that routing and we're going to do this as VLAN 2 and we'll save that okay so we're going to create another one and we are going to call it voice over IP it'll be a VLAN only and it'll be 3 so we'll go ahead and save that so now we've got an untagged VLAN which is essentially VLAN 1 we've got video that is VLAN 2 we've got voice over IP which is VLAN 3 so we're going to come back out here and everything should be provisioning or be done provisioning. Looks like it may be done. 
So let's look at lab switch. And we'll come over here to configuration. We'll go to network and VLANs. And here we go. So we've got LAN showing up, video, and voice over IP. So um, if we come over here to our SFP uh, port, we can edit this guy. Name is SFP2. And if we drop this down, we can see that uh, we can do all disabled VOIP, which was the VOIP that was included many, many controllers ago that, that you don't see here, but it's, it's kind of a remnant. Uh, the LAN, which is the untagged, the VLAN 1. Then you can see the video and the voice over IP that we created with the tags next to them, 2 and 3. Well, if we go ahead and select all, as we know from previous experience, that is going to create um, a trunk port because everything that comes through there is, uh, you know, either going to have be the native one un untagged or um, have a VLAN tag. So we're going to go ahead and apply that, and you can see that lab switch is provisioning. So at this point, we are. Um, done on the unify side. Now in this scenario how I would use this is the lab 8 would be my my core switch and then I may have this fiber running to another closet and then I would have this edge switch in there. This happens all the time. I, in production we run like this. It's not always unify switches and rainbows and unicorns running together. You know sometimes you've got a unify switch and a Cisco switch and a brocade and a TP link which you're gonna get to see why I use TP link. I said it, I use TP-Link, and I'm going to show you why at some point. It's in a very limited capacity. I don't use it as much as I do Ubiquity, um, because Ubiquity is my primary switching, but I do carry a TP-Link switch, switch, and we'll talk about that um, at some point. Probably Security Saturday, I'll get to that. So Lab Switch is done. So now we're going to hop over here to our Edge Switch, and we're going to go ahead and log in. And you can see we are on uh, version 1.6.0 as of the recording of this video. 1.7 is available. Um, and I believe that I was troubleshooting an issue for someone else, so I downgraded to 1.6 to see if I could replicate that. And I just have not upgraded back up to the 1.7 yet. So you can see that we're connected. So we're going to go to VLANs. And on this VLAN uh, screen, the first thing that we're going to do is down here you can add VLANs. And see they've got VLAN number one as default. If we come back over here to Unify and we look at our networks, video is two. I had to flip over because I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't remember that real quick. But video is two, voice over IP is three. So we're going to add two and you can do a comma or a, a, a range. We're going to add two and three. So now you're going to see that we have VLAN one, two, and three. And we're going to match the names. So video and then voice over IP. We'll go ahead and submit this and then save the configuration. And so now we have that. So if you notice on this screen, there's actually a thing up here that says trunk port. So if we go to port 26 right here and we hit this for trunk, you see that down here it highlighted the port and it shows one is untagged and shows two is tagged and three is tagged. That's awesome that they've added that. You just hit that and it does the trunking. So it does exactly what we say a trunk is it's perfect um, if you don't have that or you don't trust it or you don't want to do it you could come down here and you can manually change this or you could do it through the CLI we're gonna go ahead and submit that and then save it and at this point what we could do is now that that's tagged, it's coming in over that link, we could come in and we could say, you know, port uh, four, uh, we would change, uh, we would take the default off there 
we would exempt it. Um, and then port 4 could be untagged for video, so there's a camera. So it's on that VLAN, and that's the only traffic that's on there. So then we would submit that and then save it. So that's that's the gist of the uh, the trunk between a Unify and an Edge Switch. It really is that easy. So get in there, play with it, you know, uh, make it work, break it. If you have questions, make sure you're asking them below. Uh, all of the links for everything um, that you can support the channel and help keep it going and get this lab gear, that's all down below. I appreciate that. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. And I promise that those 802.1x and more VPN videos are coming. We'll see you in the next video.